Hi and welcome back. If you watch my previous video showing you how to install and configure KeyPass password safe, then you'll probably enjoy this video as well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an extra layer of security to your KeyPass password safe database by adding a YubiKey, which will provide you with an extra layer of security for your database access by adding challenge response authentication. So basically it will require you to enter your master password for your KeyPass password safe database. But in addition, it will also request for YubiKey challenge response authentication, provided that you have a YubiKey, of course. As you will see on the screen at the moment, I have KeyPass password safe open. Now, in order to add YubiKey challenge response, what you need to do is first go to the YubiKey website, as you will see I've done here. And then when you're in the Ubico webpage, you need to click on support, scroll down and select downloads, then scroll down further under the developer and administrator tools. And you need to download the YubiKey personalization tools. So click on downloads, then scroll down until you can see Microsoft Windows download for YubiKey personalization tool version 3.1.25 which is the version that's available at the time of producing this video so click on microsoft windows download once you have downloaded that and saved it to your computer then once you have downloaded it and saved it onto your computer as you'll see i have done here which is called yubikey personalization gui version 3.1.25 you need to double click on this installer and install the yubikey personalization application that's quite easy to do and i don't think it needs me to show you how to do it you just follow the steps on the screen and it installs it really fairly quickly so once you have installed it you need to select the program from your start menu under your list of applications it will be listed in the Ubico folder. Once you have done that, open the YubiKey personalization tool, as you'll see I've done here. Then you'll be prompted to insert your YubiKey into a corresponding USB slot on your PC. Once you have done that, you should be presented with the following screen. It should say programming status not configured, However, if you already are using your YubiKey for something else, then I would recommend using a separate new YubiKey for your KeyPass database access. So the first thing you need to do, once you have downloaded, installed, and opened the YubiKey personalization tool, in this case, it should say programming status not configured. If it reports another message, saying it's already configured or something similar, then I would recommend purchasing a new YubiKey, just using it for your KeyPass password safe authentication so that you have a separate YubiKey. So once you've opened the YubiKey personalization tool, you need to select from the top menu, challenge response. Then in the challenge response, menu, it should say program in challenge response mode, you need to select HMAC SHA1. Once you have selected that, you will then be presented with the following window on the screen, which is called program in challenge response mode HMAC SHA1. Now under configuration protection, it should say YubiKeys unprotected, keep it that way. But above that, you need to select under configuration slot or put a dot in the box for configuration slot two, as you'll see I'm doing now. Then moving down to HMAC SHA1 parameters, you need to tick the box saying require user input button press here. So tick that box. Then under 
fixed 64 byte input you need to put a dot or select that box then you will need to select the generate button here this will then generate numbers in the secret key 20 byte hex box as you will see it has done here now you need to copy and paste all of those numbers into for example a notepad document then you need to print the document off and keep the printed document somewhere safe i would not recommend saving the notepad document anywhere on your computer for security reasons so just make a note copy and paste or write down those numbers whichever you want to do and then print them off but do not save the file onto your computer once you have done that you need to select right configuration under the actions section here so click right configuration then another window will pop up asking you to save a configuration log you do not need to save this log so i would just recommend clicking cancel then once you have clicked cancel it will then take you back to the yubikey program where it should say yubikey has been successfully configured as you will see it has here under the results section and once you have done that you can then exit yubikey personalization tool application then once you have done that you need to go to the keypass password safe website and then under plugins from the left hand side menu selection you need to scroll down the web page to the cryptography and key provider section then look for key challenge which you will see in the list here as i have found select that link this will then take you down to the section for key challenge as you will see here at the top of this browser window once you have done that you need to select the link for the website this will then take you directly to the key challenge plugin website once you are in the key challenge plugin website you need to select download and save it somewhere onto your local hard drive on your pc once you have saved it you need to open up the folder where you've just saved the application to in this case it is on my y drive and the application is in a zipped folder called key challenge underscore 1.5 you need to right click on that folder and extract the zipped files this will then create a normal folder which has been unzipped and is called key challenge underscore 1.5 you need to then open up that folder and within that folder you should see a 32-bit folder 64-bit folder keychallenge.dll and keychallenge.dll.config now you need to select those two files copy them and then go into your local disk which is your c drive then select program files then you should see a folder in there called keypass password safe open up the keypass password safe 2 folder and then paste the two key challenge files into the keypass password safe 2 folder then you will see the two files that have appeared now in the keypass password safe 2 folder which are keychallenge.dll and keychallenge.dll.config then once you have copied the keychallenge.dll and keychallenge.dll.config files to your keypass password safe 2 folder you will need to copy and paste both the 32-bit and 64-bit folders and all of their contents from the key challenge underscore 1.5 unzipped folder and paste those alongside your key challenge.dll and key challenge.dll.config files within the program files key pass password safe 2 folder as you'll see I'm doing now those 32-bit and 64-bit folders should then appear in your C drive program files key pass password safe 2 folder
also alongside the keypasschallenge.dll keychallenge.dll.config files. You can then close the Explorer window. You should then open the keypass password safe application and database as you normally would without the YubiKey. With keypass password safe reopened, you need to select file and change master key. You need to enter your master password twice as you'll see I've done here and in both the master password and repeat password boxes. Then you will need to tick the show expert options. Then underneath that there will be a list of further options appeared. Then by ticking the box for key file provider you need to select from the drop down option which currently says none to YubiKey challenge response. This should then put YubiKey challenge response in the key file provider box. Then select OK. You should then be presented with a box which says secret key entry. Then in the secret key entry you need to enter the secret key that you wrote down or printed off when we were running the YubiKey personalization GUI application. So paste that entry and click OK. Then it will ask you to press the button on your YubiKey which I've just done. You will then be presented with the following window saying master key has been changed. Do you want to save the database now? You must select save. Then the following window should appear saying emergency sheet. Select the print option which then brings up a print dialog box which I will click print on. I can confirm that the sheet has been printed and once that has been done you will then be presented with the window with your KeyPass password safe database open as you will see here. So to test the new KeyPass database we will close the application using the X button then I will attempt to reopen KeyPass password safe and I am then presented with the following window. It's now asking me for a master password and also in addition the key file provider which is set to YubiKey challenge response. So I will enter my master password as I normally would. Then if I try to untick the key file provider it will select it as none. Click OK. It then brings up the following message saying that failed to load the specified file. The master key is invalid. Make sure that your master key is correct and try it again. So I'll then click OK. I'm then presented again with the open database enter master key window. So here I will re-enter my master key and this time I will leave the key file provider selected as YubiKey challenge response. As we have just found out I cannot open the database when I untick the key file provider. So that confirms that it will actually require a master password along with the YubiKey inserted into any corresponding USB port on your PC in order to open the database. So let's click OK. It's now asking me to press the button on my YubiKey, which I'm doing now, which then successfully grants me access to my KeyPass password safe database and brings up the window with all the database entries in. I hope you found this video useful. Please do hit subscribe and like and keep a lookout for further videos coming up again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.